welcome back to another ASMR video, and this is going to be kind of a Halloween-themed one. I've been doing that recently, and as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, I am going to be going over my horror movie collection. I don't even know if you want to call it a collection, because it's not a very impressive one, but it's something. So this is just going to be whispering over commentary, if you, is it commentary? I'm not even sure. Either way, I might do some tapping on the cases themselves, but I do have the mic turned down pretty low, so I don't know how well the tapping would come through. Either way, we're going to start with, actually, I shouldn't even start with this. This was on top, but I should be starting with this, even though they're kind of doing the same, but we got the Leprechaun 7 film collection. I know this; these movies divide people. <laughs> I love them. They are stupid, but they have a lot of nostalgia to me, um, especially the original and then <laughs> in the hood and back to the hood. I know those are so stupid, but there's just something about them that I just absolutely love. Now, the actual, whoops, the actual case that this came in is pretty jacked up. Um, I was a little disappointed, but get this little pamphlet here. We got Leprechaun 1 and 2 on the first disc, and this is what I meant. I gotta be careful. Then on the second disc is Leprechaun... Come on. Leprechaun 3, and then <laughs> Leprechaun 4 in space, which is easily the worst one to me. I, I'm all for cheesy space horror movies. I cannot up if I did the right way. Cheesy space horror movies. Like, I love Jason X. Again, unpopular opinion, but I do. Leprechaun in space can screw off, however. <laughs> Disc 3, we have Leprechaun in the Hood and Back to the Hood, two very nostalgia-driven movies for me. And then the final disc is Leprechaun Origins, which I did not care for. Um, it has Hornswoggle in it from the WWE, but you don't even really see him that much, if at all. I honestly forget. It's not one of my favorites in the franchise, that's for sure. And then you can see on the back here, we got all of the, you know, covers and everything. It's actually the original was Jennifer Aniston's film debut. I almost said Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> um, so that is Leprechaun, the seven films. And then the last in, or I was going to say the final one, but the eighth and final one is Leprechaun Return which I just have on its own. And this one is actually pretty good. It's not amazing. Um, it's definitely better than Origins. The only complaint that I have is Warwick Davis is not in it. I'm not discrediting the actor who plays Leprechaun in here, but it's one of those things where, to me, Leprechaun is Warwick Davis, or Warwick Davis is Leprechaun, rather. So without him, just don't even try. <laughs> It's almost like Freddy Krueger and um, Robert England. Jackie Earl Haley did a decent enough job, even though I hated that movie. It wasn't because of him. But at the same time, it's Robert England. He is Freddy Krueger. <laughs> so, those two disc sets first. I'm going to put these to the side and get ready for our next collection, which I'm actually, let me start with this first, because I have a as well as the Blu-ray. I'm trying to find where I can put these. Set them on the floor for now. So we have Saw 3. This is the unrated edition. James Wan is a phenomenal director. Um, he's probably my favorite modern-day horror director, him and Rob Zombie. All time, it's Wes Craven. And then you got, like, John Carpenter, George Romero. But as far as modern times, James Wan is amazing got notoriety with the Saw franchise, and then the Conjuring and Insidious universes kind of just set him <laughs> far above everybody else, in my opinion. So the DVD that this comes in is kind of cool. It's like a saw-shaped thing. This I've had forever, probably since it came out. Um, but then this is fairly recent. This is the 8 film collection, which this actually has some decent weight to it. Um, again, this case is kind of messed up. Just note to everybody, if you buy these Blu-ray collection things,
cases from Amazon. I don't even know if it's just Amazon, but these cases are very flimsy. They will arrive broken. It's just expected. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a little like chipped piece and they just kind of sit in there. So disc one is saw and saw two. Disc two is going to be saw three, four, and five. We already just went over three. And then the next disc is saw four and five. Or wait. I'm confused. Let me read that. No, because that was three, four, and five. Oh, that's six. I was... Okay. So saw six and... What is that? I'm trying to read upside down. It is saw six and saw the final chapter. I couldn't read that. And then for these that comes out again like I said not the best <laughs> made case the last one here is jigsaw which I there we go so the last one is jigsaw and then the other four discs are the same exact thing just in DVD form so it comes with DVDs as well as blu-rays so that is couldn't have been too loud. That is all of the Saw series. Do you guys enjoy Saw? I know it kind of divides some people. Some people think it's just, I don't want to use this phrase to get this video banned, but torture adult cinematography. <laughs> um, I personally don't. I'm not one that thinks horror movies need to be bloody and violent and gory, although it does help. But Saw if you really look at the story of Saw, it's one of the most detailed, in-depth storylines in cinema history. You literally need to do research for days and days and days to connect the dots, to find out who helped Jigsaw, who helped first, who came in as an assistant, who knew about it. It's just insane. So yeah, it's very gory and violent, but man, the story is amazing. So we got... Next up we have more DVDs and we will start with Child's Play. This one was the first horror movie I ever saw. I was very young. I was like four, three, I don't know. I know that's young, but I cried. Like I bawled my eyes out at the end. I was so terrified and I have not looked back since. Horror has been my life. It's like the only genre of movie that I will watch. I will watch a comedy here or there or if I'm watching movies with friends and they want me to watch something else. I will. But for the most part, it's just horror movies. This, I owe my love of Halloween, of horror, of everything to Chucky and to Child's Play. So this definitely has a special place in my heart. Try not make that too loud. Um, and then, of course, what would Child's Play be without the rest of the killer DVD collection. This one's pretty cool because it's kind of like, let's see the back here, it's, I don't want to call it interactive, but you gotta break it through. There's bonus features in here and the bonus features are actually really cool too. Um, but this is basically just the rest of the Child's Play, oh well, not the new ones. This has Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Bride of Chucky, and Seed of Chucky. Go ahead and take it out this little like protective thing and open it up which DVD is somewhere I don't know where that's at it's very scratched up I used to watch Child's Play 3 religiously on repeat I don't know why it's not even my favorite one Pride of Chucky is and then the original they're very close but I just for some reason Child's Play 3 I watched all the dang time as a kid so there's the back there's like the bonus feature things which are actually pretty cool that uh, actually let's get some mic sounds putting that in I feel like this case is definitely different than the rest well I know it's different but it probably sounds different too so <laughs> so we got the child's place done now I am going to I got a bunch 
to save these for last because they are like collection things. So I'm going to put them at the underneath. Whoops. I'm trying to organize here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be cutting this or not. So bear with me. I might just make this full on. Next up, we have the Nightmare on Elm Street collection, the Blu-ray collection. This is a pretty cool case, um, at least the out, outer side, rather. Um, this has the complete collection, Nightmare 1, 2, 3, which is Dream Warriors, 2 is Freddy's Revenge, 4 is the Dream Master, 5 is Dream Child, 6, oh, Freddy's dead. Or no, no, sorry. 6 is the, let me, actually let me read, because now I'm getting confused. 5 is Dream Child, 6 is Freddy's dead, yes, the final nightmare, and then... Wes Craven's new nightmare. So we'll go ahead and open it up. The outer case is basically the same exact thing as the inner. It's just these now hold the DVD, or rather the Blu-rays inside. So let's see where is disc one. Um, we'll just do it like this. So disc one, or the first uh, case rather, not necessarily disc. Does it have the little protection? No, it does not. So, okay, so I don't know where that video cut, but I was talking about Nightmare on Elm Street, so disc one has the original Nightmare on Elm Street, as well as like a bonus DVD inside of it. The second uh, case has part two, which is Freddy's Revenge, which is a very interesting film known as one of the and I mean this, don't mean this in a negative way, but one of the gayest horror movies in horror history. And if you go look up the information about that, you will know why. The actor came out gay later on, and he was very upset with the director, I believe, because he thinks that he wrote him in that movie to be gay. But the director says that wasn't true. And it's just, it's, I'm telling you, it's a very interesting story. So this obviously, I guess, is a two-part on this, because I only see one disc, but... It says Freddy's Revenge and um, Dream Warriors so must be on the back. I haven't actually watched these yet. So, and then for this one, we have Dream Master and Dream Child, which, yeah, one disc only. My favorite nightmare is actually the original, and then Dream Warriors is very close. I know a lot of people that is their favorite, and I won't argue with you because they're both fantastic. And then the last one, we have a Freddy's Dead, <laughs> The Final Nightmare, which is easily not only the worst nightmare movie, but one of the worst horror movies, at least in terms of franchise standouts like The Child's Play, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Texas Chainsaw. Worst one, easily in my opinion. Wes Craven's new nightmare, however, is fantastic. It's not it doesn't even feel like a Nightmare on Elm Street movie because it's very meta, which is Wes Craven's forte. <laughs> because in the movie, Heather Lanningkamp, the actress who plays Nancy in the original, plays Heather Lanningkamp. And in the movie, like Robert England is there, and it's basically the actors are playing themselves inside of the. It's just very, it's meta and confusing, but a great movie. You gotta watch it. So we'll go ahead and set all of these to the side. I don't know how we got so many here. I'm just kind of throwing them on the floor. And I will get them later. So next up we have got just a couple more. We have some DVDs here of the some of the Hellraisers. I don't have them all. This is Hellraiser 3, Hell on Earth, Hellraiser Bloodline, Inferno, and Hellseeker. I'm not the biggest fan of this franchise. The original is great. It's a very just artistic movie, and I just haven't really seen much of the sequels. That is one that I definitely want to watch at some point, so but this comes with 3, 4, 5, and 6 on DVD that I guess are just all on one disc, so 3 and 1 or four and one. And we have, let's see, two more quote-unquote normal cases.
VHSs and DVDs. Easily one of the creepiest movies of all time, in my opinion. The Ring. This terrified me as a kid. I, whenever the video would come up, I, I would watch most of it, but I would always make sure to turn away at least for three seconds. And then in my mind, I was like, okay, I didn't watch the whole thing. I'm not going to get a phone call. I'm good. I'm in the clear. <laughs> um, terrifying me even to this day. It still creeps me out a little bit. And that is rare. Or I'm so desensitized to horror movies that they just don't really scare me. The Ring and Conjuring are two that give me the creeps a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, and I, I think I remember watching this with my cousins once. And if I'm not mistaken, the phone rang like either in the middle of the movie or after it. And we were just like, oh, hell no. <laughs> so great movie. Very much like A Nightmare on Elm Street where like with Nightmare on Elm Street, it kind of like, oh, I don't want to go to sleep. I don't want to dream. I don't want Freddy to be there. With the ring, it's like, you don't want the phone to ring, but everybody's got to sleep and dream, and everybody's going to answer the phone. I don't know. I just like those horror movies where it brings a realistic element to it that you cannot avoid, like dreaming. Everybody's got to sleep and dream, or Jaws, right? I'm not the biggest fan of Jaws. Spare me in the comments, but I understand why people like it and how it scared people. Like, people were afraid to shower and go into the ocean. Like, it's that real life element, even though sharks aren't that dangerous. I know that, but. And then another movie that is fantastic here 13 Ghost. And this is actually a very different case, so we might be able to get some sounds out of this. And I gotta find the DVD for it. <laughs> I don't know where that's at. This movie is so unique and different, and I love it. And Matthew Lillard is one of my favorite actors. He is fan friggin tastic and no matter what he does, he is able to bring a comedic aspect to anything. And not in like an over-the-top way. Any role he does, he just brings that right amount of comedy to it, and I love it. So, 13 Ghosts, that is my final of the generic movies that you'll see in the cases. These next ones, as you can see here, are they're like collection movies. So this one is supposed to have 30 horror movies in one. This is supposed to have 20. And this one has... Yeah, so they're all... I'm just going to kind of read them. I'll scatter them out here. Actually, here's what I'll do. I will put these like that. I don't know how much of these you can see. Because I'm not looking at the camera. So we'll just... This first one here, we let's see the inside. Oh yeah, so what this is is I don't have all of the movies because they come in multiple collections. So I have Summer School, The Inflicted, Samuel Bleak, Blind Witness, and The Cry on here. And then on the second case, I have Hide and Creep. Zombie Dearest, Last of the Living, and Night of the Living Dead, and I Am Omega. And then I'm just going to go ahead and read the rest of the films that come on the back. We have Another Kind, Behind Your Eyes, The Wind, Adrift, Salvage, Live from Death Row, No One Could Protect Her, Nightmare at Bitter Creek, Night to Scream, Summer of Fear. So those are the ones on there. And Back at this one, we got Prom Night, Jamie Lee Curtis, great movie. Prom Night 2, Hello, Marry You, The Inflicted, Samuel Bleak, which we got. Um, Blind Witness, Dire Wolf, The Cry, I think those are here. The Nurse, The Familiar, Killer, Killer, Meadow Woods, The Howling 4, Summer School, Occupied, and Killjoy. I have seen Killjoy. I haven't seen all of these. Um, okay, guys, so this camera keeps stopping. I'm going to try to get through these quickly. We got... We already did those. Okay, so... And then... Oh, sorry, I'm trying to go quick on the second disc. We got Night Shadow, The Nurse, Cruel World, Inside, and Ginger Dead Man 3. <laughs> I've heard of the Ginger Dead Man, but didn't know how many there were. On the back, we got... Uh, the, oh, so those are all of them. So we actually do have all cases or all of the movies that are inside this one and on the back of this I'm assuming we got all of them as well we got Shaded Places, Prom Night, 
Trancers 1, Howling Part 4, Puppet Master, Hell's Highway, Wages of Sin, Keepsake in the Dead of Winter, and Curtains. Yeah, so we got like double sided there. And then again, two discs. So that is my horror movie collection, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Returning subscribers, thank you for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.